So have you ever wondered how much power a prosumer level espresso machine uses? Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from wholelottheylove.com and I've got the answers for you. So I got our kilowatt power meter out and did some testing to find out how much energy a machine like this dual boiler Profitech Pro 700 uses. In a minute I'll give you the results. We'll take a look at how much energy it used in two hours from a cold startup and energy consumption per hour when it's sitting idle. But I do want to hear from you. Use those comments below and tell us about your routine. Do you turn it on and then just use it and turn it off? Do you leave it on all day or maybe you just leave it on all the time? I'm very interested to hear what you do and why. So the results of my energy use test on the Profitech Pro 700. First, I turned the machine on and left it on for two hours and made two lattes. Over the two hours, the machine used 550 watt hours of energy. In our area, a kilowatt hour of energy runs about 12 cents. So the cost worked out to a total of 6.6 .6 cents for the two hours. Next, I wanted to know how much energy the machine consumed per hour when sitting idle after it was completely warmed up. So I left the machine on without using it for 24 hours. During that time, it consumed 2.88 kilowatt hours, which works out to 120 watts per hour when it was sitting idle. At our energy rates, the cost was 1.44 cents per hour. So a couple things I learned from this test. In order to save power by turning off my machine, I've got to know I will not be using it for a number of hours. In my case, it's best just to leave it on if I know I'll be using it again within about four hours due to the energy used for all that initial heat up. And forgetting about energy conservation for a moment, if I know I'll be using it, say, eight hours later, I'd save just under three cents by turning it off in between. And for that three cents, I get a lot of convenience knowing it's ready to go whenever I want to use it. Now, one thing I didn't cover here is how turning a machine off and on all the time or just leaving it on for longer periods might affect the machine's components. So I've reached out to the manufacturers who build a lot of our machines to get their opinions and advice and I'm going to share that information with you shortly in another video. Again, I'm curious to hear more about your routine and any reasoning behind it. So be sure and use those comments. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and come back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.